Hey everybody, my name is Lisa and I'm the Crafty Goddess. Hello and welcome! If you're new to my channel, I make stuff, I buy stuff to make stuff, I do a lot of um, unboxing videos, a lot of yarn hauls, uh, I do some tutorials. I've been promising to do a new tutorial for a while and I've been sadly neglecting that so I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, if you uh, have stumbled across this channel, Thanks for stopping by. Why are my notifications popping up now? Oh my gosh. Sorry if you hear the dinging. Um, oh, come on. Anyway, um, if you are a returning visitor to this channel, welcome back. Uh, thank you everybody for stopping by. And thank you everybody for pushing me over the 1500 subscriber count. I am very, very grateful. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a bit of a ride. And uh, in case in case you're looking at the thumb the the thumbnail and going what the heck's going on, um, yeah I I completely forgot that I have served, I've just passed four years I've I've had a YouTube channel for four years sorry I just noticed this is crooked I don't know why I notice all these things after the camera goes on but um, so yeah I've I've been on YouTube for four years and I completely forgot. Uh, it was my fourth anniversary. Not like I've been regularly active lately, but, you know, it's, it's four years is still, it's a pretty long time. Not as long as some YouTubers I could mention, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's been, you know, although last year was a bit of a long slog for obvious reasons, um, yeah, but uh, I just, I completely blanked on that. Um, I really should be more proactive with that, maybe, you know, encouraging folks to send in pictures of what they're making or do more giveaways or something. I just, uh, yeah, I never think of these things. So, <laughs> um, but I, uh, I was contacted by a couple of folks who were kind of worried about me recently because I haven't put up anything since the, um, announcement that I made for the winner of the giveaway. Uh, for those folks who missed it, uh, I said I would do a giveaway if I reached 1500, subscribers and uh the winner for that draw was a lovely lady youtube her her name here on the youtube uh universe is mimi loves crochet uh we've been chatting back and forth i meant to send out her package earlier i will be doing that this week so i hope you like it uh, i'm pretty sure she knows what's in the notions bag but the yarn is going to be a mystery i'm looking at the pile right now and oh i think she's i think she's gonna like it i really hope she likes it anyway um, and I know that shipping is going to be a little costly, but I am looking into pirate ship. Uh, I understand it's something that's available in the States. I heard it might be available in Canada, but I'll definitely take a look into that and see if that's a thing, if I can save a few bucks or at least expedite her package a little faster. Yes, I'm working something. I am working on a knitted project. It's actually a, um, I'll wait till I finish the row so I can show you, but it's a variation of the Be Simple shawl pattern. Um, the pattern designer's name is Laura Chow. She has some gorgeous knit patterns. Um, some of her designs are deceptively simple, and this is no different actually, but I'm using one of the old cake yarns like the um, Twister Cotton, the Sultan, it's one of these up here anyway, I'm just reaching into my yarn bowl. I thought I had the uh, yarn band, but I do not, so that's okay. Yeah, it's similar to like, like you see the cotton mill ends back there from uh, Hirschner's. So it's a, it's a two weight, I'm using size four millimeter needles, four or four and a half, I think, I think these are four. Um, and because I'm using four, four and a half millimeter knitting needles with this thin yarn, it's taking forever. I didn't just start it. I actually started it, I think, last year. <laughs> um, I did one of the, um, I did one of my overhaul, restock, repack, my wall unit here. And I found this little project hiding away in its yarn bowl somewhere in the cubbies behind a couple of bags. And I thought I should really bring that out because... Um, I don't know if anybody has the same issues as I do when you kick on your laptop, computer, whatever. It takes a while for it to warm up. So you need something to do to pass the time. And uh, yeah, I, I never think of that. Like instead, you're just sitting here staring at it like, come on, hurry up, wake up. Instead of doing something with all this delicious fiber. So yeah, that's my, this is my new computer companion project. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, 
So yeah, this is also my way of sort of checking in and saying, hey, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. I've just undergone a bunch more uh, tests, exams, appointments, etc. I am back to work up to full-time hours now, and it's fun, it's good, but it's exhausting. I haven't worked a full-time schedule since I just since just before I went on my medical leave last February, March, and so it's it's a bit of a <laughs> you know it's a bit of a learning process. I mean, the first week was great. The last week was good. It's just, you know, at the beginning of the week, it's like, yeah, I'm refreshed from the weekend. I got energy. Let's go. And then by Friday, I'm just toast. I was actually, okay, funny story. I was actually supposed to meet up with a friend to go to Costco because I've never set foot inside of Costco. And I've been debating back and forth on whether or not I want to get a Costco membership. Like it's just, it's just me and my husband and our fur babies. And I know it would probably come in handy for things like household papers like paper towels, toilet paper, etc., uh, cat food, cat litter, that sort of thing that I could buy bulk so that way I'm not running back and forth to the grocery store or whatever. Um, so I'm, I've been kind of doing the pros and cons. I know a lot of folks do have Costco memberships. It still weirds me out that there's a grocery store, etc., that requires a re membership to ship to shop there. But uh, I know a few folks who have them and really like them. Um, I think if things go the way they are, uh, what I see them as, we might have to invest in a cube freezer so we can start storing things. But yeah, so, okay, long story as short as possible, I was supposed to be my friend, getting back to my point, eventually. <laughs> and we were supposed to meet, I think, 5.30ish, whatever. Um, and I didn't know, and she didn't know that the store closed at 6 o'clock, and I had shut off my phone and went down for a nap and by the time I woke up it was too late to get back to her but then she said oh I'm sorry I missed you uh the store closes at six o'clock I, I hope I didn't leave you stranded in the rain I'm like I was just about to apologize to you for missing you completely so <laughs> it was one of the few times where you know things just worked out <laughs> but um yeah so if anybody has any Costco memberships any of you folks um Give me a list of your pros and cons and uh, help me make an informed decision because that would be awesome. So uh, other than that, uh, things are good on this end. Just like I said, just back to work full time, um, plugging away at things. Uh, I am now officially, well, I'm going to say I'm officially in full remission. Uh, I may still have to undergo genetic testing that's being determined by my doctor. I think she might just send me anyway, or not my doctor, my oncologist. She may send me off to get it done anyway, just to make sure, uh, because of, as I mentioned previously, my dad has three first cousins all going through breast cancer, and one of them is male, and he's around my age, so having a male relative with breast cancer is usually a you know, red flag that you know, it may be in the family, and I didn't know that there were that many, but these are my dad's first cousins, so, and they all are all related by blood, so it may be something that I'll have to look into, um, but again, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, as for now, I'm not even looking at long or short-term stuff, I'm just kind of, you know, going back to work and dealing with the stuff that I have to with life in general, <laughs> um, making things for upcoming uh, markets and festivals uh, for anybody here in or around the southwestern Ontario area or doing some traveling around these parts. Um, the next, well, the first festival of the season that my sister and I will be at, excuse me, is the Ontario Pirate Festival, which is the first weekend of August. I believe it's the 5th, 6th, and 7th. Let me just pull up my calendar here. Um, if I can pull up my calendar, but it's, uh, here in Ontario, it's a long weekend. Uh, can I, yes, I can. Perfect. So it's August 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And the reason that it's a long weekend is because it is known as Simcoe Day. Oh shoot. Did I, there we go. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Press the wrong button. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if it'll show up in the video. Ah, anyway, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's, that weekend is known as, well, it, <laughs> for those of us who remember, 
well, I don't remember when he was around because I wasn't born yet, but uh, I probably talked about this before as well. John Simcoe, one of the first, I guess, founders of the province of Ontario as we know it today. And the first weekend of August is usually when he is honored. I don't know if I am a terrible Ontarian. I don't know if it's his birthday or just like, hey, thanks. Thanks for building your province. Um, but the, the 5th, which is a Monday, is a civic holiday. It's not a statutory holiday. So not all stores and businesses are closed. And I remember there were some years where when I was still working in retail, <laughs> that was fun. Um, we wouldn't be closed, but the mall that I worked in was just dead. Like there was hardly anybody in there. Um, so that weekend is usually also associated with the Pirate Festival, which I've been vending for. I've been vending at them for at their shows for. Oh gosh, it's it'll be 11 years this summer that I've been a vendor with the Pirate Festival. So yay! And my sister is back full force. She's been looking at different ideas, like booth setup ideas and whatnot. And, uh, you know, maybe this year I'll do a little little mini vlog of our adventures at the Pirate Festival. Uh, but we've got some ideas. We're bringing in some stuff. We're, we've both been making things like crazy. She is currently buried under a mountain of stuffies. When I went to visit her yesterday, she was working on some little mushy boys, like little mushroom uh figures and they're so cute oh my gosh i actually have one i don't have it here with me it's in the next room but they're so cute and she uses i believe the premier parfait yarn and she says no matter how you try to prevent it it's gonna shed <laughs> so she she makes a lot of uh, stuffies from that uh i think yeah premier parfait i think she was using burnett um some of the Bernat yarns. I don't. I don't think it was the Bernat blanket. It was a couple of different ones. For those of you who who knit or crochet stuffies, you'll know what I'm talking about. I hope. Um, I <laughs> the only stuffies I make are just like on worsted weight yarn with like size four or five millimeter needles. And again, I don't have any examples here. No wait, I do have one. I have my little owls. Um, I got this little cute little owl. I found this on a free. It was a free pattern from Ravelry. It's called Owl Puffs. Just, just type in owl puffs on Ravelry and you'll find it. But that's mine. My cute little owls. So, yeah, the stitching on the nose kind of sucks, but whatever. It's cute. I like it. So, yeah, we've been doing that. Uh, that's So, our first festival is the Pirate Festival. We'll probably be doing markets in between then. Uh, two weekends ago, we did the Punk Rock Flea Market downtown. Uh, we took over the Farmer's Market in downtown Guelph. Um, the Farmer's Market is actually pretty massive and it's got quite the array of vendors um, you can get lots of yummy foodstuffs of every variety and of course this time of year the fresh veggies are just a plenty so but it was weird going in the Sunday and having like a punk rock soundtrack kind of play through it was cool I liked it but um, yes we did that uh, there'll probably be markets through the year as well but I think after the pirate festival the next big um, festival event will be the Oxford Renaissance Festival, which is, um, it, it used to be in Dorchester, it just moved, and it used to be in Woodstock as well, but that will be towards the end of September, and of course it's the, you know, it's a Renaissance Festival, and I've been vending for them for, oh my god, now I have to think about it, I think this will be my sixth year as a vendor. And I'm very happy and grateful to be doing that. So I will be, and, and this is the first year my sister's coming with me as well. She usually doesn't come with us because um, my friend Beth, who is actually a cast member of Oxford, she and I would usually just camp out. Um, like we'd borrow a friend's tent and some foam mattresses, whatever. But after the last year we did that, where it was just pure steady rainfall and the tent leaked and I named it, I nicknamed it after a Robert Redford movie, A River Runs Through It, because it literally did, uh, we started booking hotel rooms. <laughs> so we're, we're doing the hotel thing because I'm 50 and I can't sleep on the ground anymore. <laughs> so my sister is going to be joining us. Uh, we're, we've got a hotel booked and I think it's going to be a fun weekend. I know it's going to be a fun weekend. It's I always have a blast. Um, even last year when I was, you know, recuperating from everything, uh, in between, um, radiation treatments and whatnot, 
it was still it, it was a nice break it was it was a lot of fun so that is that um I don't know what else I can catch you folks up on but uh yeah just that um as I said before I'm just over 1500 subscribers and I'm so so grateful um in case uh, you haven't done so already now that I mentioned now that I'm thinking about it I should have mentioned it earlier um, yeah feel free to hit the like subscribe buttons feed those algorithm gods keep things going um, and if the numbers keep climbing I'll probably do another giveaway I'll probably do another giveaway anyway just for the heck of it because that seems to really keep people's attention and plus it's a great way for me to thank you lovely folks for um, spending your time with me listening to me bladder and watching me knit a shawl <laughs> But I, I just, I didn't have anything else really to present right now except just a, hey, hi, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere yet. I'm still working on stuff and just thought we'd take a little pause to like, you know, do a, do a sip and chat. It's a little sip and stitch and chat. Uh, like what I did, I started doing last summer, I think. Was it last summer? Yes, it was. Anyway. Before I get too dry. I have to stick to this. I usually, when I do a sip and chat, I try to have like some tea or something. But I just recently, I just recently developed a bladder infection. Uh, I think that's probably just my body going, you're stressed. And we're going to show it in the worst way. <laughs> so I've been drinking a lot of juice, a lot of water. I have to avoid caffeine for at least the next week or so because apparently that aggravates it. I love my tea. I like my coffee. This is going to hurt. But it's for a good cause. So, yay. And yeah, lots of probiotics. Yada, yada. <laughs> I just sound so dumb with it, don't I? Uh, and I haven't I haven't really made any new purchases. Uh, I haven't done any yarn hauls for a while because I haven't really bought a lot of yarn lately. I know that um, my sister told me yesterday there are a bunch of discontinued colors for... Uh, I think like the skinny cakes and some other Karen products at Michael's, um, like close out, whatever that I really should get down there and take a look at. Um, but I don't have any extra money to throw at that right now and really can't. So I shouldn't. Um, so, but yeah, I've, I've been, I've been a good girl. I think the last, like the last time I bought any amount of yarn was the last ice haul video I did. So um, I've been using some of the yarn that I got from that out of, uh, out of that for different projects. And it's kind of ironic because it's, it's June. It's like the second weekend of June, it's June 9th, um, 2024. <laughs> and we're going into, we're heading, head, you know, head first into summer. And I'm already thinking what warm garments should I be doing up for like the autumn months, knowing that I'm going to be sweating like crazy. And I have been sweating last week. There was a heat wave and just, ugh, I thought I was going to fall over. Uh, but the weather's cooled off. It was kind of rainy earlier. It's cloudy. It's cool. I love this weather. I'm a weirdo. Um, but it's just, it's perfect for stuff like this to just sit, knit, work on stuff, have a nice beverage. But yeah, I've been working on my, trying to, sh trying to shop my stash. And that seems to be one of the 2024 things other than like, you know, helping other YouTube creators and folks based in the fiber, um, you know, the fiber community, but also there's like the, the shop your stash and I don't think I'm going to be running out anytime soon. <laughs> uh, aside from this project, the only other projects I've been working on, well, besides, you know, uh, stockpiling merch for upcoming, uh, fairs and festivals and markets, I started working on some of the crochet bucket hats I've seen, um, floating around the YouTube universe. I, it was funny actually, I think both Crystal at Bag O'Day and Jada at Jaden Stitches, they both came out with crochet bucket hat uh, tutorials roughly around the same time, not the same day, but close to each other, and they're both using like the granny stitch, like the three double crochet, whatever, um, and they both look amazing. I did uh, one of Jada's, and it's so easy. It's, it's a yarn eater for sure. Um, for that one, I just used some Bernad Handicrafter cotton as a practice. I got one of the big balls. My aunt, bless her, my aunt Annette, if she's watching, hi, Auntie Annette. Um, she, <laughs> she dropped me off a bunch of yarn. I think she got it from a friend who's not doing like the knitter crochet thing anymore, which I never asked why, but I thought, eh, okay. 
and she wanted to know if I could use some yarn. So I said, of course, I'll take it in. Whatever I don't use, I can donate. But a lot of it was, was like the huge balls of the Bernat Handicrafter cotton. So I used one of those as practice on the um, Jade Ann Stitches uh, crochet bucket hat and it looks nice it actually fits my big noggin which I'm surprised like I have a big head I can't wear a lot of commercially made hats because my skull is just too big uh, and that was before I lost my hair <laughs> but uh, and even after I lost my hair I still can't wear a lot of hats they're just too small for me but I use some of that and the, the hat works perfectly like she I think Jada also does it different sizes she does like um, you know kid adult um, you know, young adult, adult, whatever. So I used, I did like the biggest size, like the full grown adult or a man size, whatever, because apparently I have a man size skull. Um, <laughs> and it fits perfectly and it's kind of cute. So I, you know, I, I wish I'd had that pattern last year when I was doing the knit and crochet chemo caps, but it better, the, better late than never. So, uh, and I'm starting up the, uh, bag o' day bucket hat pattern. It's a little, it's a little bit, well, obviously it's different than the Jaden Stitches one. Um, it's not coming along as, uh, well as I think it would, but maybe I just, I'm, maybe I'm just too impatient and I'm comparing the two un, unfairly. So maybe I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll frog it and start over, see if that helps. But yeah, this seems to be, I think bucket hats are like, the bucket hats were, were starting to get pretty big last year too. And I think this year that trend is continuing. Because I've seen a lot of two different tutorials for bucket hats. I actually saw one from uh, Passionate Kelsey, and she she's adorable too. If you ever get a chance, go check out her channel. It was actually kind of her fault that I started paying attention to the the hexagon granny cardigans. But uh, she has a, a crochet tutorial for a bucket hat, but it's got like these devil horns, and I think it uses fun fur. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I want to do one, but you know when I have enough time to devote to something that doesn't need to be done up right away think about it but anyway I'm just I'm rambling I'm just rambling today but uh, as I said I, this is kind of a catch-up uh, with you folks just to poke, poke my head in and and say hey and ask how everybody's doing how's everybody doing? what's everybody working on right now uh, what are you folks busy catching up on I, I as I said before summer is is coming it's around the corner and so it's probably starting to get a little hot um, actually one of my coworkers as well, and I want to get some feedback from you folks. He asked me what people knit or crochet when it gets into the warmer months. And I said, you know, sometimes I'll work on smaller projects like, you know, socks or like wrist warmers or whatever, but bigger projects, I don't really do a lot unless I know I'm going to be someplace that has air conditioning because I overheat like crazy. It's, I'm middle-aged. I'm a furnace <laughs> so I don't want to do it's ironic because I love knitting and I love crochet and I love like the nice hand knit and crocheted garments but I'm too hot to wear them <laughs> my sister actually said that and I agree with her wholeheartedly um but yeah what what are some of the projects that you folks on work in work on I can't talk oh my god see I haven't had my coffee because I can't drink it <laughs> sucks but uh yeah, what do you what do you work on in the summer? What are some suitable summer projects that you like to do? As I said, like this nice lightweight shawl. Oh, I <laughs> I changed the row and I didn't even show you folks. Eh, I'm sorry, but uh, just working away. Just think of like as a triangle shawl, but it's got like different ridges to it. Uh, I'm just going away, not even thinking about it. <laughs> but. I think I should probably actually cut this short anyway because I've been rambling for it looks like just over 20 minutes so but uh, thank you so much for if you've you know stuck around the, along this this far thanks for hanging around thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble as I work on this project <sighs> it's never gonna end <laughs> and hopefully um, oh hang on now that I'm thinking about it my, my ADHD brain is just like bang, 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 bang. Um, actually I would say I have more of an ADD brain ADHD I'm not very hyperactive that's just pfft, I'm 53 and lazy there's just no hyperactivity there um, but next weekend which is July the 16th I will be going to Cambridge Fibers with my sister and our best friend Beth she is our sister from another mister she and well three of us will be 
traipsing over to Cambridge Fibers. Um, I believe that is where Diane at My Pink Bathtub Knits got one of her advent calendars from. I want to see if I can sign up for an advent calendar because I love what she got last year uh, so much that she sent some of the yarn to me, which again, I am so grateful to Diane for her thoughtfulness and sending me such a beautiful care package. Those crystal cakes that she got, the Karen crystal cakes, that nice rich purple yarn. If you've watched her unboxing and her advent calendar videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's like a nice deep rich amethyst purple, just beautiful with that strand of like sparkliness going through it I turned that into a shawl I think I probably showed you folks that shawl just meh, beautiful it feels like you're wearing a cloud um but yeah I I, I wanna I saw what she got last year as part of her advent calendar and I want to sign up I know we're only halfway through the year but I, I want to sign up for an advent calendar this year so next week's trip to Cambridge Fibers, I'll see if I can put that together for a video and show you folks what it's like. Um, I mean, you can order online, cambridgefibers.com, but I'll get more information next week when we go. So yee, look for that next week, possibly. Keep fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got, really. I'm going to go drink some more of this flavored water and work on this shawl and maybe help my husband with some housework. We'll see. I mean, I, I've, I've got stuff to do here. How can I how can I do housework? It takes me away from all this fun stuff. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Um, if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button that's down there. Um, and while you're at it, feel free to hit the thumbs up. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate all the positive feedback. I'd appreciate it if I could speak English better. Holy Lord. Um, yeah, like and subscribe. And uh, as I said before, please drop a comment down below. Let me know what projects you'd like to work on in the summer. Hopefully ones that aren't too sweaty unless you have air conditioning or central air in your homes, in which case I'm kind of jealous because we're on the top floor of a three-story walk-up. We've got a window unit, but once you hit the halfway point in the hallway, no. <laughs> But yeah, those those are your those are your homework assignments, folks. Let me know what projects you'd like to work on when it starts to get a little hot out. Anyway, thank you so much. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, and I haven't already said it yet, but I will say it now. Happy Pride! It is June. Happy Pride Month. Uh, love who you love, and you know, I I could go on, but I don't. You know, I don't want to get anybody riled up. But you know, just love everyone. Be kind. Uh, be kind to each other. The last line of my father's obituary was, be kind to each other. I'm going to relay that along to you folks. Love is love. Love who you love, as long as it's safe and consensual. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Stay safe. Keep making cool stuff. And hopefully next time my thoughts won't be so incoherent. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>